Hello. <sighs> Welcome to another video. I'm out for the day with Mutt. Just doing a bit of mushroom foraging, exploring woodlands. Beautiful day for it, look at that. It's a stunner. And I thought, you know what? Because I was going to make a video at home, because it's been piecing it down of late. And so I thought, you know what? Because rain has stopped play, I thought I'll just make a video about rain and about backpacking in the rain, specifically multi-day backpacking in the rain. So stay tuned. Obviously there's lots of variables when it comes to hiking and camping in the rain. It's, you know, what time of year are you going? How long are you going for? The temperatures, the dog. If it's summer and it's nice weather, I'm gonna take with me a waterproof jacket, but I'm not gonna be taking waterproof trousers because you're just boiling the bag and I end up getting as wet as I would be without them on anyway, just from sweating. I'm happy just to wear my shorts and if it pisses it down, the bottom half of me can get wet and then just dry naturally. A lot of this is debatable. You can debate it all day. But I choose to, in summer, wear trail runners, which are lightweight. They let the water in, but they dry really quickly as well. As opposed to wearing waterproof hiking boots that if the water goes off at top and they do get wet, take a lot more drying out. But in winter, I'll opt for the hiking boots just for the warmth. So the clothing and the boots, I would say, it's up to, it's up to you. If you wanna go with waterproof hiking boots and keep your feet dry, and you're only doing like one or two days and the weight's not a problem for you, then do that. And if you wanna wear waterproof trousers um, during the summer, you do you. You do you. See you later. So what you decide to wear on your feet or on your person, you want to take an umbrella, go for it. But what I think is universal, and this is where the top tips come in, is your equipment. You don't, it, it's okay getting your legs wet or your feet wet to an extent, but you don't want to be getting your equipment wet, especially on uh, multi-day hikes. So you've got your backpack. Let's say you're off on a multi-day hike and you forecast some rain. Is it, will he knock this off if I put that there? No, no. I, I, I. <laughs> You forecast a bit of rain. Top tips is I would buy myself a rubble sack from one of the hardware stores, which is pretty much a bin liner, but it's heavy duty, designed for storing rubble in on building sites. I'd get one of them to suit my bag size. That would go in the main compartment of my backpack, and then everything goes into that. And then a bag cover for the outside of your bag. So if it rains, You've got the bag cover and then you've got the bag inside keeping your stuff dry so double whammy there if you can everything wants to be in dry bags especially your sleeping bag so that's kept everything dry throughout the day <laughs> you get to camp come on let's walk he's gonna come on we'll walk <laughs> come on then beanhead he's got too much energy let's burn him off come on let's burn that energy off boy <sighs> there we go you tire him out, eh? Good boy. Nimbus, drop. <laughs> drop, good boy. Thank you. He's a good fetcher. <sighs> so, a scenario. You get to your campsite. You've been hiking all day. It's been raining all day. Take your rain cover off. You've got your bags inside. Everything's in its waterproof bag. The first thing you want to be doing is getting your shelter up. You get your tent set up you get in there as quick as you can. That's you out of the rain. It's super important to be keeping your sleeping bag and your clothes dry. So you have one set of clothes that is just for in the tent. Tent clothes. That stays dry no matter what. That's the mission on this is to keep that outfit and your sleeping bag dry. Everything else, take it or leave it, but that must stay dry if you're on a multi-day hike because it can get pretty uncomfortable if it doesn't. The rubble sack that you've been carrying all your stuff in in your bag, put that over the bottom of your sleeping bag because that can often get wet where it touches your tent 
at the foot end you'll often wake up and find that's a bit soggy right instead of getting to the top of here and having a brew or getting to a pub and having a brew ski let's go to the shed and then bring you back hello and welcome back to the cabin we have the fire blazing in the corner Q fire and this week's video is kindly sponsored from my friends at beer 52 who are an online beer delivery company who send you beers each month from around the world this month in the ferment magazine which you get in every box it's the beer awards some of beer 52's favorite beers this is the light pack if you like light beers you can choose light if you like dark beers you can choose dark if you want a mix, you can choose a mix so you get light and dark. If you want dark beers, you'll receive some dark beers from Poland, which is where I think we're going next month. So that'll be a good one. You get two snacks in your box as well, which I've already devoured. Sorry. And you get some wonderful beers. Let's have a quick look. Of course, we're going to go for the Hazy IPA. <laughs> Wonderful, yeah. Look at that. As the rain actually, Q rain, is smattering on the cabin and the fire crackles in the corner. Oh, it's the perfect time to enjoy a hazy IPA from Stone Brewery. It's 6.7%, so quite wheaty. Absent friends. Oh, I see the colour on that, man. You can't see through it good quality beer and you'll get eight free beers all you've got to do is pay for the post and packaging so i'll leave a link below it's on, on here now just go to www.beer52 that's a number five number two so beer52.com forward slash haze outdoors and you can cancel or pause your subscription at any time jolly good stuff back to the video where were we <sighs> Bonnie, isn't it? Very bonny. If you need to leave your tent, this is another top tip. People who watch my channel will know about this one, but take a couple of plaggy bags. I've found bread bags are the best because they're lighter. There's nout to them, no bulk to them. Over your dry socks, and then you can put them into your wet shoes. Just leave the laces undone, and you can walk around, camp, go to the shop, do whatever, come back, wet shoes off, bread bags off and you've still got dry socks that one pair of dry socks is staying dry throughout the whole duration of your long distance hike and you'll be thankful for it trust me another top tip is I'll take a flat sponge it weighs next to nothing and it'll just slide down your pack somewhere out of the way and every morning I'll use that just to take off the excess condensation from the inside of the tent and then wring it out outside. You can use it to wash yourself, it's got a lot of different uses so I always take one of them thin spongy things. I'll leave links for everything I'm saying below. You get them in multi-packs, they cost hardly out. So that way when you wake up the condensation's gone from the inside of your tent, your sleeping bag's dry, your dry tent clothes come off into a dry bag your sleeping bag into a dry bag they go back into the rubble sack in your backpack if your tent's wet on the outside good shake into a dry bag and you can just store that away from everything else let's go down this hill go ahead and bean it the only thing really that should be wet is your waterproof clothing and your tent so as long as you keep that away from everything else you should be good then on the next night the tent goes up you can even give it another little going over with sponge before you get your sleeping bag out but i'm off road here look we're lost are we lost oh, look at that it's like a badger set but it's not been used for a while because there's cobweb going over at top are you a badger dog get down there then or rabbits or whatever Wombles, a womble nest, is it? You know, come on, <laughs> womble hunting, are they? If you're going camping for one night, it doesn't matter as much because you can just leave it all out there. But I would definitely recommend doing these things if you're planning on doing a multi-day hike because it's one of the things that can 
end you. Let's say you don't have the rubble sack or the uh, rain cover and you've just got your backpack and it pisses it down. I don't care what backpack you've got. If it's torrential rain all day, like in the Highlands of Scotland, that water's gonna find its way in and your stuff's gonna get wet. And if you've got a wet sleeping bag, it's not a fun experience getting in that every night. You're gonna get cold and it's gonna be heavier. Your tent becomes heavier, your sleeping bag, everything that you've got becomes a chew to carry. It's a morale thing as well. No one wants to be getting into a wet tent and a, a wet sleeping bag. And the other thing is, is if you're doing it and there is no sun or wind, you, you're gonna struggle to dry it. So if you're setting out on a week long hike and on first day, everything get out, hey, look, he's zooming. You got your zoomies. <laughs> Go on, boy. That's it. He's zooming. Mad dog. He just gets the zoomies where he just starts going mad, bombing around, just running into bushes and stuff. Go on, boy. That's it. <laughs> In the peak of summer, you can you can dry things out pretty well. And that's why I wear my lightweight, just shorts. A wicking t-shirt, you don't want anything cotton or out, you want something that's moisture wicking and that will dry off and so if you do get wet, whether that's sweat or rain, you're going to dry off pretty quick in summer. But you're not guaranteed it, you know, you might go to Scotland, you might get a week's worth of of, of water and that's what this is for me because it does happen, persistent rain for multiple days, you need to know how to prepare for it and just taking your time being methodical, keeping what's dry, dry. So keeping your dry clothes dry, keeping your sleeping bag dry. It's good for morale. Eee, I love this, mate. Just having a walk with your dog and chatting. This might be a new little thing, you know. Should go this way? You could go which way I want. I'll go this way, actually. So, yeah. Top tips for backpacking in rain. A rubble sack to go in your bag and to put over the bottom of your sleeping bag. A lightweight flat sponge to deal with the condensation. Bread bags or plastic bags to put over your feet to turn your wet shoes into dry camp shoes. There's three good tips there, isn't it? <sighs> Let's get up to the top of this hill. I'm calling it a hill. This car is a hill, isn't it? Yeah, look at it. We're going upwards. There's a lot of gorse. You alright down there? I've enjoyed this. I know a few people just like to see me doing the uh, camping or hiking or whatever, but I mix it up. Nimbus, come and just make, pretty much do what I'm comfortable doing and what I, what I enjoy doing. So I'm going to keep doing that. And you know, in winter it's a lot harder yeah. to be doing multi-day hikes and overnighters and stuff because, mate, it gets dark at like half three. So you've got to set your tent up at three, and then you're just in there, aren't you, with your own. Your own kit and caboodle just for hours, so I don't do as much of it. Do some tricks, shall we? Nimbus, middle. Good boy. Sit. That's it. Sit. Stay. Stay. He'll stay there forever now. Come on. Crufts, get at me. Delightful. Absolutely delightful. Feeling loads better in myself. I know this isn't about wet camping and that, but and I'm a, I overshared that, but feeling loads better in myself. Joined a gym, mate. I never right up there. I don't really do gyms, but lo and behold, gym. Getting into shape. Just going to spend winter working on myself, and so I can come out in spring like a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis, and that's a good analogy. That's what we're doing. The big butterfly spring. Unless I look back at this and I'm like, I emerge from the chrysalis looking like a, just a fat bug, like a widgety grub or whatever like that. Uh, I shat it. Just been eating Christmas cakes all, eat, all winter. Unless I shat it and end up looking like a widgety grub, in which case this hasn't aged well, but as we are, I'm enjoying doing gym and the exercise and looking after myself walking pooch just keeping on right side at force just keeping on light side just keeping my lightsaber green instead of red look at this look b-roll filmmaker at year you're welcome 
What is it? It's lichen. <laughs> yes. Right, let's end it here, look. Yeah, watch this. Best sign out ever, look. There you go. Thanks. If anyone walks past now, I think I've lost it. Right, thanks for watching. I said you're now, but love. Look after yourselves before you start looking after anyone else. Sort out here and here, and you'll be reeked, kid. You'll be reeked. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Sorry, goodbye. Been this way for years. Still they sending messages in bottles. Was this really meant or was it not for? Can't connect the dots. I got this smelly in my pocket. I forgot, yo. Strictly high grade, and that's the motto.